So let's just sort of stop and look at what we just did uh, in telling this basic story. Right? What we've done is we've coordinated the actions between two separate sprites, right? the John sprite and the Lisa sprite. Both of them have a set of actions that says when the green flag is clicked. Right? So they're both sitting there sort of listening for me to say places everybody and action. They're both just hanging out. And when I give this global start, right? When I press the green flag button here, I'm signaling each of those sprites independently to do whatever they've been asked to do. And so all Dwayne knows is that he's supposed to wait, you know, go to his starting location and wait two seconds and say who's there and wait two seconds and say Dwayne who and so on. Um, and he has really no clue at this point what Lisa's actually doing. It's just assumed that I, as the director, as the programmer, gave each of them the right set of actions so that when we view these two parallel parallel uh, but independent actions together that they come together to make a cohesive story. And so that's something that we want to make sure that, we, that we're stopping and thinking about is how is this set of actions dovetailing with this other set of actions? Well, I know that this uh, video wasn't particularly long, but I think it's important for us to emphasize this idea of parallel actions and really stop and understand what's going on when you've got multiple sprites coordinating their efforts together. Because as we add and get into this and get more and more complex stories, uh, that understanding that parallel action will be important. So again, before you move on to the next lesson, I'd like you to stop and look at what's going on in our program so far. And now stop and think, well, what kind of changes would you like to make to this story that you think would improve the overall storytelling process?